my first question is, what did it feel like to lead the lab after the caution? At <laughs> Talladega? Mm-hmm. Um, it was just, you know, it worked out for us because of the way that the pit strategy worked out. Um, you know, but at the same time, it was just kind of nice to have a good day for us, you know, and, and not only just lead that lap, but also come home with a good finish, right? So, I mean, I think we still ended up in the top 15, which is great for our team. So, um, just to kind of show those guys that we can race with them and, and that we deserve to, you know, be recognized a little bit. Okay. So, we've been at this year, sophomore year, second year. Um, do you feel like you've had your defied the doubt moment yet? Uh, I think it's a constantly evolving wheel, you know, for us, you know, um, people don't expect us to really uh, succeed in the sport, I guess, a lot because first off, you know, being with a smaller team, but we've also kind of come in, even working with the smaller teams, we've been the third team of the smaller teams a lot. So um, this 35 team last year didn't really run a whole lot of races and the races that they did run were, uh, you know, a lot of them were just kind of run in the back so um, you know we've been able to take the third teams and kind of turn them into a team that can make the races and consistently run and try to improve so um, we you know last year did that with the 26 started a fresh team and, and able to get them in the top 36 in points and, and stay there throughout the season and I think we're doing that again with this season so um, that's something that I've seen people try with these teams and have been able to really accomplish a whole lot so um, to do that's been nice, but at the same time, you know, we always want more. So that's why I say it's always a constantly evolving wheel. So just to get in and be established here isn't enough for us. You know, we want to be the next step. We want to be a top 25 team. And then if we get there, we want to be a top 20 team. So it's constantly always, uh, you know, people, you know, doubt us and don't think we can do it, but, you know, we're here to prove them all. Okay. And this is a question that's kind of to the left, but I'm sure people want to know, what is a typical day like for you? the day before the race? Uh, you know, I mean, Saturdays, this is this is the day before the race for us. So, um, con you know, pretty often, or we always have our two practices. There's usually one in the morning and then one around in the afternoon. Um, so those two practices, you know, we focus on race trim stuff and really just try to get our cars the best we can and, and where we think we're gonna be tomorrow and, and kind of take all the best pieces of the practice of what we can and kind of piece that together to try to get our best car we can for Sunday. So. Uh, pretty much all the practices and all that is constantly trying to be the best we can for Sunday. Um, but also at the same time, usually, you know, I have some small media availabilities that we have to do, whether it be uh, like we were out at the speed stick thing earlier today and, um, or just other little stuff. You know, we've had a few little news conference or whatever it was. So there's always constant little stuff that we got to do also. But, uh, you know, uh, we do what we can to hopefully keep the speed stick happy. You know, I mean, they, they sponsor us. And, allow us to be able to do this and without them we couldn't be here so uh, we'll do whatever we can to you know uh, help promote them and, and give them what they deserve okay last question can you talk a little bit about your shirt like i know you're the ginger lion but can you talk about the lion blood and you know what's going on with you and nate from the nfl network hanging out at the track yeah so this happened actually really briefly uh not too long ago a couple weeks ago uh you know Lion Blood Clothing and kind of because of the Ginger Lion thing and all that, uh, you know, Nate thought it was just a good idea to, to get paired up with us and uh, endorse a, a NASCAR driver and, and just thought that we were a good fit. And, you know, we really thought we were a good fit together when we talked on the phone. You know, I just I learned that Nate's background coming up through football was uh, kind of the same style the way I've had to come up, you know. Uh, work really hard, be with some smaller teams, and, and just constantly put in the grind to, to always try to be better. So, um, just really have a lot of things in common, and I think that that's what allows us to, uh, you know, kind of have a cool partnership.